So um, before I uh, get into w what does this feature do, uh, I'd like to start by talking about um, why, why we want this. And uh, basically, uh, this is uh, kind of a democracy health uh, is, is the motivation here. So um, uh, we have uh, a lot of the voting power follows DFINITY. Um, but what we'd kind of like to happen is um, that uh, it requires more than just DFINITY to vote for something in order to pass proposals. Um, so, so how can we make that happen? Um, that's, that's kind of the, the starting point here. Part of the, so, so the affinity itself does not directly control all this voting power rather, uh, I mean, it controls a substantial amount, but, um, an even bigger amount is due to, uh, this feature we have called following. Um, so I guess, uh, can we go to the next step here? Yeah, so if you if you create a neuron, maybe uh, you don't have the time to uh, look at every single proposal. So so we have following, right? Uh, and when you create a neuron, we invite you to um, add some following. But maybe a few years later, uh, you don't you don't necessarily agree with your followees anymore. Um, so what we want to do is ask you, to, hey, are you sure you still want to keep following this other neuron? Um, to make sure that the answer is still yes. Uh, so we uh, propose in, uh, oh, that you have to uh, you know, go in and click yes. I still want to follow these neurons. Um, and uh, we've been busy implementing that for a couple of months or so. And we're, um, and bits of it have already been released. And now we're pretty close to releasing the, the final pieces. So that's why I'm here to talk about this. Um, let's see. Yeah. So so what what is this new feature? I guess I already sort of started talking about it. You have to periodically uh, say, yes, I want to keep these followees. And if you don't, but what, if, what happens if you don't do this? Well, then you start uh, losing your influence over the way that proposals are decided, and eventually, um, your your followees will uh, no longer be your followees, um, and this will of course affect your uh, voting rewards. So, you uh, if you have neurons and you like getting voting rewards, uh, you need to know about this. So, okay, next. Um, yes. So, how can you maintain your voting power and rewards? Um, I will, I will demo that in the next slide, but basically you, you, uh, click, yes, I want to keep these followees. Um, that's, you know, the explicit and direct way of, of doing this, but you can also maintain your voting power and followees by voting directly and, uh, and simply by, uh, setting your, your following that will be taken as a, yeah as uh, implicit yes <laughs> uh these are current these followees um oh let me uh, also uh say what this qr code is for um so this links to the uh, motion proposal where uh the uh, nns approved that we add this feature um so the exact way it works i was only you know able to <laughs> Describe it in one sentence in the slide, but uh, the motion proposal gets into a lot more detail. So if you care about the more having a more precise description, go ahead and follow that. Um, yes. So to help you uh, keep up uh, with your configuration, NNS DAP notices uh, one month before uh, you start being reduced, and it says, "Hey, do you want to? Here's here's the thing you should do." And I'll show that in a moment. Um, and uh, another question you might have is, okay, uh, when is the first time that I have to take action here? And the answer is uh, at the very end here. It says by by the beginning of March. Um, and then thereafter, you you have to every six months or or more frequently uh, again take action. Uh, let's go to the next, uh, the demo. 
So right now what I'm looking at here is a test instance of NNS DAP. Uh, uh, it's not fully live yet, so but soon it will be live. So what you'll experience is something like the following. Okay, so let's log in. All right, so uh, here is the warning that I was talking about. So I'm, I'm logged in as a user where one of the neurons uh, hasn't been refreshed in a long time, so you get this. Otherwise, you don't see anything. So then you simply click on this, and then uh, this actually addresses the question in the chat, um, although it's maybe not super clear. Um, but uh, this will show uh, not just one neuron at a time, and you'll be able to click confirm following. So it should be, it's like two clicks, I think, is all you need to uh, confirm your following if you have many neurons. Okay, so so that's one thing I want to show you, just this button, basically. And then uh, the other thing I want to show you is, okay, if you drill down into one of your neurons, um, you may be wondering, okay, how much time do I have left? Because that banner only shows up if you only have one month left. Um, so you just look at this section here, and in this neuron, you basically have the full six months. Um, and if you want to individually confirm this one neuron, here, there's a button here, and you can do that. Um, so I think that's the end of the demo, really. Um, so watch this space. It'll be out soon. Um, I'm going to stop sharing now. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, but I just want to say that uh, this is a team effort. These, uh, it wasn't, even though I'm I get to present, I was not the only person who worked on it. All these other lovely people um, from different functions and teams also uh, helped out. So thank you all, and uh, I think that's it for me. Thank you.